Ryan, with some of the injuries, some of the issues we've seen on offense, I know you don't want to make excuses. So I guess looking ahead, how much more room is there for this offense to grow? How much, I guess, can you progress? How much have we not seen yet of what you guys can do? Yeah, no doubt. We have a lot of room to improve uh, in a lot of different areas. Um, I think we're, we're trending in the right direction. I feel like guys are, are growing. As an offense, we're growing. But uh, no doubt we have a, a lot of room to improve and you know, excited to, uh, to keep the foot on the gas and, and trying to clean things up. Did that connection come back for you and Marcus uh, out there Sunday? I mean, it looked like you guys were really strong during training camp and then just seemed to click back in. Yeah, it was great to have Marcus back out there, man. I was excited to, uh, to get him back out there. Like you mentioned, a guy that uh, got a lot of reps with in training camp and feel really confidently throwing the ball to. And he's got some, uh, a lot of ability, and um, I think it showed up. You know, his first first game back. You know, he didn't really ease into it. He came out and played fast, and I had some huge plays for us. So excited to have him back. But there's like there was weeks. one play, maybe where, where you guys run different pages uh, in that game. Looked like he, you maybe thought he was going to go inside. No, no, that was totally totally my fault. Um, yeah, that was not on him. That was totally on me. Some weeks where the plan that they draw up on Tuesday can can really almost win the game, where, where it winds up being kind of perfect. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. You know, I think um, you know sometimes you get get the game plan looks that you're looking for, and sometimes you don't. But at the end of the day, it's about going out and executing uh, our bread and butter stuff and. Um, you know, hopefully hitting a couple of the, the game plan plays. You know, I think that, um, you know, I'm not trying to minimize game planning at all because that's that's obviously a big part of every every team and what they do. But as players, we have to be able to go out there and, and make plays on, on the basic stuff uh, when things aren't like we thought we were going to get. You know, we're not getting the coverage for the shot that that we thought we were going to get. Can we still make it an efficient play and uh, and keep, keep the chains moving? So, um, yeah, it's great whenever you – Things dial up the way you look for them to, but at the end of the day, it's about going out and executing um, on a down by down basis with with a normal stuff. How about maybe the, the broader themes that Mike strikes? You ever come out of a win and say he had us just in the right mindset with that three word slogan of the week or, or whatever? You knew just what to put in our veins this week. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I think that. Um, I don't call it the mantra, but the uh, the slogan of the week or uh, the mindset of the week could definitely have an impact in how guys prepare and, and locking guys back in and, and giving us as a team something to kind of rally behind and, and get behind and, and believe in together. So um, it's not ever going to win you a game, but it can it can help uh, you know set things moving in the right direction. When you something ball. back to playing above the game plan part of things, uh, you had a, a play again last week where you kind of extended the play in the red zone. You threw it to pro. Is that something you would like to do more of? Is that something that you could showcase more your ability just to extend plays, attack the line of scrimmage, and help guys get open? Yeah, I think that you know there's going to be opportunities in, in every game to uh, to try to extend and, and go off schedule and, and make a play. Um, you know, I think we've had some opportunities, we've missed some opportunities, and and um, you know always want to be able to to have that as an option. You know, if things aren't aren't exactly. As we drawn up, have to move off the spot or um, get quick pressure. Being able to to get outside and, and let our guys work downfield is is a big impact play. Did oh, Nick Nichols do something particularly well in the screen game, or have they just been blocked up really well for him a few times lately? I think it all works together, right? You know, it's uh, J Mac having a good feel of, of getting out and and not being in front of the lineman. It's the lineman getting out in the perfect timing and and getting on their blocks. Receivers blocking downfield. Um, yeah, I think that the J Mac has a good feel for it, but at the same time, um, there's a lot of other guys that are making plays as well on those screens that, that make them efficient. A lot of sacks, ball. Ryan, but but no fumbles since that you know the, the second week. Has that been something you're more you've been more conscientious of you know over the last several weeks after that after the early start there? Um, not really. I mean, I feel like I I always try to uh, have good ball security in the pocket. You know, several of those came on throwing motions, I'm getting hit in the back, on, I'm trying to throw the ball. So not a lot you can do on those. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's always a focus of mine is to have good ball security, especially in a crowded pocket, moving around, keeping two hands on it, and, and being secure with it. You throw a ball that maybe should have been intercepted, but maybe it's dropped or it's wiped out by a penalty, something like that. Do you just breathe a sigh of relief and move on? Or do you say, 
I got a gift there. I better take advantage of it. That sort of thing. Um, I feel like it's kind of the same the same uh, reaction to to both. You know, I think, uh, yeah, no doubt a sigh of relief, and you know, you know when you get away with one. Uh, I think that. Uh, you know, every quarterback knows when, when they get away with one, and it's definitely a breathe a sigh of relief. Um, but yeah, I just try to take a deep breath. All right, got away with one, reset, and get ready for the next play. They've not given up a lot of points or forced a lot of turnovers. How, how, what are they doing so well on, on defense, Buffalo? They do just about everything well. You know, you see them, uh, you know, getting after the quarterback, you see them solid in the run game, uh, tight coverage on the back end, um, great in the red zone, great on third down, uh, really just an all around solid defense. Safeties that makes it so hard to connect on those down the field passes. It's difficult to do that. Yeah, their safeties are really good. Uh, they've played together for a long time. Um, both very active, uh, physical, smart players. Uh, they they have a great feel for for what they're doing defensively. They kind of set the tone, and then uh, they're playmakers. So uh, definitely, you don't have to be aware of where those guys are at. Tight end production hasn't been what people around here are used to generally. You think as a result of how you're deploying them, are you playing a lot more three wide? I would have to look at the numbers on on uh, you know how often that we've been in in, in uh, three wides, but um, you know we have confidence in our tight ends. Obviously, like you said, the production maybe hasn't been there, but um, we have confidence in those guys' ability to uh, to make plays for us. Opportunities that you guys get to play a Monday night football game here in Nashville, and I predict it will probably be a pretty incredible scene just with the attendance we've seen so far this year with fans. I mean, how much do you embrace that opportunity as a team? Um, and I'm sure there's some added excitement that goes along with that. Yeah, no doubt. You know, anytime you get to play uh, a night primetime game and at home, you know, it's a it's a huge opportunity. You know, guys get excited for it. You love uh, to go out there and. Uh, be able to uh, showcase what, what we're about, you know. So, um, yeah, I think guys are excited. I'm excited to go out there and play, uh, playing in front of a, a packed house at home. There's not much better than that. Carter was had some pretty high praise the other day for Ben Jones. He called him like one of the toughest guys he's ever seen. Said it was kind of a you know a source of pride that he doesn't want to have to be helped off the field. That kind of thing. I'm wondering in your experience with Ben, has it has been similar, and have you seen some instances that kind of stand out in, in that regard for you? Yeah, no doubt. Ben's uh you know. About as tough as they come, you know. You see him battling through, constantly, um, not constantly, but you know. It feels like every game or every couple of games, there's there's an instance where he gets rolled up, uh, twists an ankle, you know. MCL, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, but something goes wrong, and, and he's got an injury, and you see him in the huddle. He's uh, he's gritting. He's he's uh, like Ben. You okay? You need to go down. He's like, No, I'm good. I'm good. You know, and he's. Uh, He's got this face on like he just uh, bit into the, the world's you know, sourest uh, lime or lemon, you know. Uh, but he's, he's gutting it out. And, uh, you know, the guys in the huddle, they see that. Um, we realize how tough he is and are thankful to have a guy who, who wants to battle it out out there with us and, and uh, really set the tone up front. He played for Dan Campbell in the past. And I don't know if you saw <laughs> how hard he took that loss uh, this past but He was standing up there and he broke down into tears. So uh, my question would be, like, do you have any idea like why he would have taken that so hard, and, and you know if you have any past experiences on, on uh, when he had something like that happen while you guys were together? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been with Dan, um, but a guy who, who loves competing. Um, you know, he was an interim head coach for us there for a little bit. A guy who loves competing, who loves winning, and uh, loves the guys. So you know he's gonna give it give it everything he has, and when you do that, it makes it emotional. Right. What do you remember about Derek Stiffarm last year? I guess it was a year ago today, the Tuesday night game, we played those guys. What was the energy like after that, even though it was really a no play, but what was the energy like in the in the huddle and on the sidelines and in the stadium after that? Yeah, it was it was uh, exciting. You know, you see uh, that type of play, especially happening on our sideline where our guys on the sideline can get juiced, uh, definitely brought us a lot of energy. The game overall, Ryan, I mean, there was so much kind of chaos leading up to it with the COVID situation and so forth, and then you guys just came out and you know, had a tremendous game. What would memories come back from the days leading up and, and the performance? You know? Yeah, it was wild. It was a wild week or a couple of weeks. I, I forget exactly what, what was transpiring beforehand. Uh, I remember we didn't have much practice, but I really just had to believe in each other and, and go out and, and cut it loose and play. And, um, you know, as a team, I felt like we did that and guys made plays. When you call a play in the huddle, do you, do you try and call it the same way every time or do you use that as 
you know, hey, this is a big play, and you you give emphasis from time to time or challenge guys? Oh, no doubt. You know, there's um, tons of instances in every game where maybe you're reminding the guy, um, you know, hey, make sure to get your depth or, you know, set your guy up on this one or, um, you know, this is a huge opportunity. Let's let's go put this thing in the end zone. You know, give Derek a crease. He's going to be able to score, um, whatever the case may be. You know, there's a, all types of situations that come up that you're able to, to use that huddle time to, uh, you know, either inspire or remind guys or um, just try to get things going.